I initially went up to Denver um, to explore a new uh, series of work that I was really interested in pursuing, and that was working on empowering the 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 self and the and the and the body, the physical manifestation of self with um, um, armor or uh, objects of adornment that could be worn and experienced by um, myself and others. I did this by creating busts, um, life-size busts in my studio um, in Santa Clara, and <clears throat> then um, welding bases for them so that they were at different heights of, of, of life-size. So I would sit down in the morning in the studio, and I would do sketches and I would draw and then I would begin to cut the leather and to um, form these pieces that would potentially be used on the busts themselves and also um, preparing for the performance that would be the culmination of this uh, experience at the Denver Art Museum. Meanwhile, as I traveled up to Denver, I would travel back down to New Mexico, back to Española, and I was working on refinishing a 1985 El Camino and making this car into an object of power, a power object. And um, <clears throat> the intention or one of the ideas behind the residency was to be able to bridge this power, power object or this powerful thing that is the car with the vessel that is the body empowered as well and that being um, a juxtaposition that I just really wanted to experience. So the armor um, that I was creating was loosely based on um, the black-on-black -black pottery that comes from my Pueblo, from Santa Clara Pueblo and the adjacent um, communities, including San Ildefonso Pueblo. With the leather, I was able to use the smooth surface as well as the rough surface of the leather to mimic that. This same idea I transferred to the vehicle, um, also being a vessel. I made seven of these busts in all, um, and each of them were to represent the seven different directions, that is north, south, east, west, up, down, and center. Um, through the process, I began to contact different people who would then eventually be my performers or my models. Um, <clears throat> and in working with these people, I began to sort of um, configure the pieces around who these people are. The seven models, one was me, adorned ourselves in the outfits. And while I drove the car up through the plaza, the, the six different models walked on either side of the car together up towards the building. We then parked the car with the heartbeat playing still out of the sound system and took a moment to honor the seven directions. After that point, we reconvened and walked up to the third floor Sovereign exhibition where my work uh, is being shown. Um, at that point, we took a moment and acknowledged the work. This was what I instructed the models to do, was to take a moment and, and notice what it was like to be the work, and notice what it was like to be the work in, in action, in life, versus the work that had been made stagnant still. And I, I began to walk back out, and everyone followed me down and out the building where we then climbed into the back of the car, or everyone climbed into the car, and we drove off the premises together in the car. The heartbeat creates a vessel out of the car. We are a vessel, the car is a vessel, the pottery is a vessel. We carry forth with us what we nurture ourselves in the world with, and we are utilitarian objects in an aesthetic experience. The heartbeat was very interesting while driving. It's always nerve-wracking nerve to put oneself in the public eye. And as I was driving the El Camino forth into the plaza area, I could feel my heart beating, and the car was bumping out this heartbeat. And I 
and it was really, really intense. <laughs> it, was, it intensified the experience. Um, so I always wonder if performance creates uh, sort of a heightened sensibility because there's a little bit of fear in that power.